hi in this video we will see how to perform mouse hover in playread so for that i created a class called perform mouse hover test and inside this i created one test ng test called handle mouse hover so for this where i'll go i'll go to this website the internet.herokuapp.com/hovers so the moment when you hover your mouse on a particular locator you see name user one view profile something like that so we don't bother about that so you can go to the direct website and click on hovers otherwise you can directly go to this url so the moment when you hover on any this locators it will say user 3 user 2 user 1 okay the moment the mouse goes there so it will show this information okay so if you want to see some other things also so if you go to dev.automationtesting.in so the moment when you hover on these widgets you see that you can see academy and auto complete date picker slider something like this so the moment mouse goes there we know we don't need to click on this just move the mouse to that particular element that's it okay so for this let me go to my code let me create page instance page page is equals to layer dot create dot chromium dot launch new browser type launch option dot set headless false dot new page okay so we created new page instance and then page dot navigate so what is the url first we'll go here and then so wait for at least 3 seconds to see the execution properly so then so what i need to do so page dot you have direct option method over that's it okay so i need to find that locator so i already found that so let me use that here so inspect control f control v you see that this is highlighting the first one okay so this is the one that's it so after this red dot sleep of 5 seconds to see the execution and then page dot close okay and uh, if you want to do the same thing for another way that is also possible so let me take thread dot see for 2 seconds here and then page dot locator first you find the locator so this is nth child of 4 and then dot hover that's it okay so you can do both the ways you can directly use page dot hover otherwise page dot locator dot hover both options are available in this for this hover method also so let me execute this and see what happens so observe carefully the moment when it executes so it will show that user one or profile something like that and for, uh, for that particular element wait for that you see that name user one you will profile up you see that user two view profile so after 5 seconds it will close okay so both are working fine if we still want to see the dot sleep of 3 seconds and then is dot navigate so where i'll go sorry I'll go here. So I'll hover to, I'll hover to widgets. Okay. So the moment it hovers, you can see this accordion auto complete date picker all these things. Okay. So we first let me go to this URL. after this again thread dot sleep of 3 seconds to see this 
so page dot over and you can say text is equals to what is this widgets so this is this way also you can write the locator so if you if that text is unique you can use this so let me give it try and see whether it is working fine or not so first it will go to that website and it will hover on the users that user one and user two then it will go to the dev dot automation testing dot in slash form whatever it is then you see in user one user two after three seconds it will navigate to this url and if it works you can see that uh, it will hover on the widgets we'll give it a try and see you see that a card in auto complete date picker slider after 5 seconds it will close right so this way you can perform the mouse hover option in playwright you have both options page dot hover or page dot locator dot hover okay so that's all in this video thank you for watching this video please like the video and share the video and you now put your thoughts in the comment section and subscribe to the channel for interesting updates thank you